Russia's jamming capabilities seem worthy of praise. This is not without reason. It is due to Russian drones successfully scrambling the signals of Ukrainian drones, making it challenging for drone operators. This incident, reported by online media on October 11, 2024, noted that Russian operators are experimenting with outfitting drones with radio jamming equipment to defend against Ukrainian FPV interceptors. According to radio technology specialist Serhai Flesh Beskresnov, the Russian military has started using compact electronic warfare devices, such as the locally produced Zerkaltse, to disrupt the control of Ukrainian drones. This device scans video channels during flight, detects signals from Ukrainian interceptor drones, and jams the signal by transmitting stronger interference on the same frequency. The goal is to disrupt the Ukrainian operator's video feed, leaving them unable to control their drone effectively. Does this capability give Russia a strategic advantage over Ukraine? Has Ukraine prepared a counterattack? Let's uncover the facts. The full-scale Russian invasion of Ukraine is widely regarded as the world's first large-scale drone war. According to the Atlantic Council, this distinction means drones have played a pivotal role in Ukraine's defense, especially in the early stages of the conflict. Thousands of unmanned aerial vehicles have been employed to track enemy forces, direct artillery, and conduct bombing operations. A Reuters analysis of over 50 videos reveals that small, inexpensive FPV drones have become some of the war's most effective tools, particularly in a setting where traditional warplanes are rarely seen due to dense anti-aircraft defenses along the front lines. In the early stages of the conflict, when Russia's air defenses and electronic warfare capabilities were less developed, Ukraine effectively deployed larger drones like the Turkish TB-2 Bayraktar. The TB-2's ability to carry multiple air-to-ground munitions and its long loiter time allowed Ukrainian forces to breach Russian defenses and strike high-value targets. In contrast, Russia primarily relies on domestically developed drones, such as the Orion, Aleron 3, Orlan 10, and Lancet. However, Western sanctions have disrupted Moscow's drone production by restricting critical supply chains, leading Russia to turn to Iran for a steady drone supply. As a result, Russia now fields a large fleet of Iranian-made Shahed-136 drones, bolstering its operational capabilities. Drones, especially larger models with distinctive radar signatures, are vulnerable to air defenses. Due to their relatively slow speeds and noticeable radar cross-sections, they become easy targets for air defense interceptors and anti-drone weapons. Both Ukraine and Russia have intercepted thousands of drones using a mix of interceptors and artillery. One emerging challenge in counter-drone defense is the high cost of systems relative to their targets. Smaller drones, especially those deployed in swarms, present a unique challenge as they can overwhelm air defense systems and are significantly harder to intercept. A key countermeasure against drones has been electronic warfare, utilizing jammers, spoofers, and high-energy lasers to prevent drones from reaching their intended targets. Jamming involves directing high-energy signals toward unmanned aerial systems, disrupting their radio control or data signals. Jammers, commonly employed by both Russian and Ukrainian forces, emit powerful electromagnetic waves that can cause drones to crash, divert off course, or even return to attack their operator. To address these vulnerabilities, Russian armed forces have recently begun equipping their reconnaissance drones 
with electronic warfare systems to shield them from Ukrainian anti-aircraft defenses. This development, which gained attention on social media in September 2024, marks a notable shift in defensive drone technology aimed at enhancing operational resilience. The recent discovery of the Zerkalsi system in the wreckage of a Russian drone, shot down by Ukrainian forces, shed light on updates in Russian technology, according to Serhai Flesh. Although details about the specific type of drone involved remain sparse, the presence of the Zerkalsa system is significant. Beskresnov describes the Zerkalsa device as a scanner that intercepts video signals from anti-aircraft drones. This electronic warfare system operates automatically when an interceptor drone approaches, it jams the drone's video frequency to disrupt the operator's view. Rather than taking control of the drone, the Zerkalzi blocks the video feed for up to 60 seconds, with the option to reactivate if necessary. Beskresnov also noted that many drone operators have reported experiencing interference from Russian electronic warfare systems. This interference is often referred to as a curtain as it obscures the image displayed on the drone operator's monitor, resulting in a loss of video synchronization between the drone and its operator. While the extent of the Zerkaltz's deployment remains uncertain, Ukrainian forces are already developing countermeasures. This situation underscores the ongoing technological cat-and-mouse game taking place in the skies over Ukraine. In response to Russia's advancements, Ukrainian forces have ramped up their use of FPV drones, which have proven highly effective in countering Russian reconnaissance drones. Reports indicate that Ukrainian defense forces have successfully downed hundreds of enemy drones using this tactic in recent months. Notably, the Signum unit recently reported taking down 50 drones over a narrow front line in a remarkably short period. This approach is not only effective, but also cost-efficient. Ukrainian interceptor drones are significantly less expensive than their Russian counterparts, such as the Zala 4 2116E, which can cost up to $20,000, depending on modifications. In contrast, Ukrainian FPV interceptors typically range from $500 to $1,000. The increased reliance on drones in the Russia-Ukraine conflict has sparked a technological race, particularly in the realm of electronic warfare capabilities. Both Ukrainian and Russian forces are employing advanced tactics to gain an advantage in these ongoing drone battles. For Ukraine, FPV drones are vital tools for interception and reconnaissance. Many of these drones have been repurposed from civilian models, allowing for lower costs while maintaining high operational effectiveness. This strategy provides Ukraine with significant battlefield advantages, as these drones not only cost less than traditional artillery, but also offer greater precision in targeting Russian UAVs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.